Though the Piraricu is the largest fish in the Amazon, their small offspring are vulnerable. They rise to the surface as one. Already they can breathe air just like their parents. When moving off to feed, young fish gather like an obedient class of schoolchildren. They come together as an orderly group, no one falling behind. They feed as a wall of wide open mouths. And they move out of formation only to breathe. By swimming in a line, they don't disturb the water current and so can feed more efficiently on plankton. Young Piraricu are inheritors of a way of life that their ancestors have known for more than a hundred million years. Feeding on plankton and protected by their parents, young Piraricu grow very quickly. Before long, the young reach a size where they need more substantial food. The parents now lead the young Piraricu into the fields of floating plants. Here, vast numbers of shrimp are to be found. As young fry swim among water plant roots, shrimp rise to the surface. Some leap for their lives, but to no avail. A loud cracking sound is heard as young Piraricu consume a hearty shrimp meal. At about six months of age, surviving Piraricu will begin independent lives as hunters in these rivers of the sun. During the flood, the sun promotes the most rapid growth of water plants and manatees time their breeding to take advantage of the increase. This female must eat well. She has a two-month-old calf to feed. The calf is a meter long and weighs around 30 kilograms. It feeds on very rich milk from nipples located just behind the mother's front flippers. It suckles liquid sunshine from the equator. Like all creatures, manatees have found ways to adapt their lives to the seasons of change that rule the rivers of Amazonia. The sun dominates the change of seasons and forges powerful connections between animals, plants, and the greatest river system on Earth. And here, life has found many different ways to survive and thrive in Amazonia's seasons of contrast. Flood and dry, fortune and famine, two amazingly different worlds created by the power of the equatorial sun. <laughs> 